Hey everybody, as I mentioned in a couple other videos, there is a way where you can take and you can change the RFID tag or code on these crystals. So I got a white crystal on purpose because when you change the code in the crystal, it changes the light that shines out of the saber. So, you know, if you turn into a quote unquote purple crystal, it'll shine purple and it'll light this up purple. Um, I just thought that was kind of a, a cool way to, to do it. So um, I wanna show you, I'm gonna walk you through one of these and how to change it and how to do that. And then I'm just gonna kind of blast through all the colors so you can see and hear the different sounds here. So I'm gonna put this in the lightsaber here and I'm leaving these parts loose just to make life a little easier here. So let's get this in here. So you can kind of see that's the white crystal there. Let's get our switch on here if I can see what the heck I'm doing. Red, there we go. I'm just gonna do that part because that's really all you need down there to turn that on. So that's the white. Okay, let's pop that back off there. And let's change this. Now, you'll need a scanner like this, which you've probably seen if you look this up at all. I got this on Amazon, it was like 60 bucks. You can find them for cheaper. Some get crappy reviews, some make okay reviews. I mean, they're all the same. They all come from the same, I think, factory in China. So we turn this on. And it always goes through this. We'll probably go through this a few times here. And you want to make sure you get it onto the mode, which is 125 kilohertz. 125 kilohertz. Now, what we can do is, and I found it better, that's where you read it at. I found it better if you put the kind of fat end right against there when you do this. You can read this. Read success. Card number is 3072. Which is the RFID code for white. We're going to change this to 3079, which is the code for purple. So we do input, the card number. we do three, zero, seven, nine. and input. Enter the correct card number is three, zero, seven, nine. We stick that right there and we hit right. Right success. Bam. All right, so now it is the RFID code of 3079. Let's put it in here. Let's see what we got. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool there. Let's get our thing in the right spot here. Good. And this should be now purple with a different sound. So cool there. So you kind of saw how to do it. I'm gonna blast through the other colors so you can see what these look like and kind of see the process of going through this. So we'll do a red next. Miss Far I see card. I need 125 kilohertz. I'm just gonna kind of do more of a shortcut way here. So we're just gonna go ahead and do the please enter the card number. Card number. Three zero. Three zero seven. seven. Three for red. Three. And we'll do that input. Enter the correct card number is three zero seven three. Right success. Cool. Let's put this in here. Let's see what we got. You see red. And it shows up nice with that clear crystal, which is good. red with again different sounds for that cool let's keep on going next we'll do blue 
125 kilohertz. Please enter the card number 3078. Enter the correct card number is 3078. Right success. There we go. Put this in here and this should now be blue. There we go. Definitely blue. To, Please enter the card number. Let's do green next here. So Sometimes just moving it a little bit this way or that way helps out. So I said the fat end seems to be better up against there. All right, let's put this in here and this should now be green. And there we go, green. Along with new, new saber uh, or blade color and sound here. There we go. Nice Luke green there. Last one we're gonna do here is yellow. Get this up and run it again here. Miss Far IC card, ID 125 kilohertz. Please enter the card number 3075. Enter the correct card number is 3075. Right success. Good. Now this should be yellow here. I can get it to go. There we go. There we go. Get a different sound and different blade color. This one seems to activate and deactivate quicker too. I don't know why. Well, maybe at least deactivate quicker. Maybe I'm making it up, but you can see we went through, you know, all the major colors there that they have so far, white, purple, red, blue, green, and yellow. Now you can buy these at the parks by buying different crystals, but if you get one of these things, you don't have to do it that way. Now it's kind of, um, it's kind of a catch 22 because you can essentially take a red crystal and you can turn it into a black one to work in the hollow crowns and that kind of stuff um, without actually having to take the chance of getting a red one, which is one in whatever chance to get one. But, you know, you don't have the thrill of actually finding one. Um, you can change the, there's other colors that have different uh, voices in, in the hollow crown. So you can access all those and change all those by changing those codes, but you don't actually get the, I guess, like I said, the thrill of, of getting that one by buying it at the, at the park. So. It's kind of a catch-22, but this way you can at least have all the different colors with different sounds, different um, blade colors and everything without actually having to buy you know, however many crystals. There are two other ones. There's a orange and a teal. The orange lights up the chamber orange, but the blade is still yellow. And the teal lights up the chamber teal, but the blade and sounds are blue. Um, so I didn't do those because I didn't think it was worth seeing just, just that part of it. But you can find all this stuff online. That's where I found it. I'm not like some sort of a, you know, whatever hack or anything. I just found the stuff and thought I'd do a video also like many have done so you guys can see 
you know, how this is done and uh, go through all the colors. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, you guys enjoy. If you have questions, comments, throw them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Have a good day.